Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas, and today we're going to learn how to use a PDF or a document, it could be a Word or something from your Google Drive, to create an assessment in Mastery Connect. So very similar to how you can do with I.O., we're going to upload this particular assessment that has a reading comprehension part and a lot of multiple choice questions into Mastery Connect and the students will be able to take it online. They will be able to see the text, it's just a PDF file and be able to answer the questions online. It's going to be auto graded and sent to your gradebook in Canvas and now you can sync it to Aries. So this is very easy to do. Let's go to Canvas. And in Canvas, let's go ahead and go to Mastery Connect right here. And once you are there, um, hopefully you have created your trackers. If you have not, we have another video that will show you how to create your tracker for um, each um, content area, I guess, if you have to. So for this one, I have a mat and an ELA. So you could uh, create the assessment from the ELA uh, tracker. That's an option that you have. But I'm doing a multi-standard um, assessment. So I'm going to go to assessments to create it, just to show you how you can do it from here. But you could do it from tracker too. So let's go there. Once I'm there, I want to go and say Add Assessment. Let's go ahead and click on that. Once we are there, uh, we're going to pick our sub subject, Language Arts. We are going to California Standards. And then for this one, it's a second grade. If I would have done this from my tracker, it would have selected all of this for me. But I just came in here because I wanted to show you something standard so i want to do this particular assignment that's going to be multi-standard so let's go ahead and pick multi-standard if you're just um, assessing one standard you can pick that too but i'm doing multi-standards so let's give it a title I'm just going to call it test delete okay you can give a description please read the passage and answer all the questions right and now over here we have the source so notice that you can upload a file. So my PDF is on my desktop, but you could also go to Google Drive or Dropbox, whatever option you might want to use, but I'm just going to upload the file. Okay, the file again is on my desktop. So let me go ahead and choose it. So I'm just going to grab it. It's my ELA, um, you should say second grade, open, and it's going to put it right there. And I have the option to change the privacy for this particular one. I don't want to share it with the community, just with my school. So I'm going to put that in there. And notice that I have the option to add my key now. So my first question is multiple choice. So let's add it. And the answer is C. And um, I am actually, um, this one is for 2.1. So I'm going to leave it there, okay? You can also add tags if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that right now. And let's continue to add our answer key, okay? This one is also going to... Um, before standard 2.1, I have four questions that are going to be for standard 2.1. So let's keep adding. And notice that by default, all of them are one point right now. Okay. But we're going to switch that in a second. And let's add one more that is um, also assessing standard 2.1. Perfect. Let's continue with our answer sheet. So you could have 25 questions, 100 questions. It doesn't matter. Okay. This one, the answer is D. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm checking for this particular standard. But for this particular standard, I only have one question and I want to make it worth four points. Okay. You will just continue as you can at the standard as you will, um, as you see here. And now notice that when you are done, so I just did five questions. I could have 25, 100, doesn't matter. Now, notice that I'm I have four possible points for standard 2.1 and you saw it each of them was one point right so now I have to tell mastery connect uh, standard exceeded is if they get four points right met if they get three points and then not uh, nearly met if they get two points okay this one question is worth four points but I'm going to do the same thing four three two Okay, so now it's ready and it's, this assessment is for eight points. Okay, so I'm going to now create the assessment. So now you're going to see that I'm creating the assessment. It's going to create it for us. It's going to take that PDF and it's going to put it right inside of Canvas or inside of Mastery Connect, however you want to see that. So you're going to see it right in here right now. Okay, if I'm not happy with it, I can delete it. I can print it if I wanted to give it uh, as, a, as a hard copy, but I'm not going to do that. And now that I've done this, you're going to see it in a second. It's taking a while. <laughs> There's the reading passage. And if I scroll down, you will see my questions right here. Okay. 
So now I'm ready. I'm going to add it to the tracker. So again, if you would have done it to the, from the tracker itself, it would be there, but I wanted to do it from assessments. So let's go ahead and add it. And it automatically knows that I have an ELA second grade tracker. So I'm going to add it there. Okay. And let's add it. So now it's going to add it and I'm going to show you what you can do with it now. So now it should be there. And now you're going to see it right there. Those are the two standards that I am actually looking for the kids to complete. And now let's go ahead and go back to my course in Canvas. So I'm in my course. If you have not uh, linked your mastery tracker, uh, we have a video to show you how to do that. But let's link it right now for this one. So let's go there. Let's find it. Again, we have a video link to existing tracker. Okay, let's find the tracker. It was my ELA, remember? So it's right here. And let's link it. So now you can see that my tracker is not linked to this course. Just in case you made a mistake and you wanted to get rid of that. Just to give you an idea, if you go to our snowman, you can unlink the tracker right here. But we're not doing that right now. So now let's go ahead and go to assignments. And notice that the assignment is going to be right there. And you can tell that that is a mastery connect assignment, right? The test delete, okay? If it does not appear, it could be because you added the assignment before linking the tracker. So make sure that you link the tracker before you add any type of assessment, okay? So now I'm ready. I can go ahead and publish this assessment. And we're going to see what it looks like from a student point of view. So now let's go ahead and become a student. Let me bring this in here. So notice that the assignment is right there. Let's click on it. And what you're going to see is going to be pretty incredible right now. So let's give it a second. You're going to notice that the students are going to have the reading right on this side and then where they're going to put their answers right here so they can kind of go along with it they can read the assignment the passage that is right here and as they have each question just to give an idea okay they can read the question and they can come in here and complete the questions and when they're done they can finish the assignment and this is going to put the score automatically in your canvas if you have any questions please don't hesitate to reach it